Hello, it is me, Militant Ginger. And I know what you're worried about, me producing another boring video. So, uh, fortunately for you, the house opposite the lake burst into flames. So uh, we get an exciting uh, video instead. Um, yeah, here we are. There are a bunch of fire trucks and you can probably see the smoke rolling across the lake. It's uh, all very exciting and uh, kind of intimidating. Yeah, mm. hopefully it's not too bad. Uh, we can see all the buildings there and there is definitely a ton of smoke rolling across the lake But we we must have like six fire trucks here And I I know a couple of the guys who work for North Brunswick fire department and they're all awesome dudes So I'm sure they are doing their Their darndest to keep us all safe This is one of the things that always worried me about living in a townhome actually is you know if one goes up they all go up but um, I think in this circumstances uh, It's it's okay our next door neighbor very nice chap said that there are firewalls between all the houses and in fact the only house on our block to ever burst into flames so far was ours before we lived there obviously but um yeah anyway you wouldn't know now right so i'm gonna zoom in and try and give you a view Whoa. okay there we go okay so here we go Let's see so we've got all the exciting stuff going on here Six gazillion fire trucks, firefighters, smoke rolling across the lake. Looks like something out of a Stephen King movie. Uh, I don't think there's much more we can we can show you right now. I don't think anything exciting is happening. So there we go. Well, I might as well continue this video since I started it. Oh, back inside we go. Do do do. Whew. Okay, I'm using a different camera today. Honestly, it's like, um, it's like past the parcel with cameras. Uh, I was having a real problem with my other one though because I could not get it to focus right. Um, it's a DSLR, it's really nice and swanky. And the problem with nice and swanky things is they're complicated to use so I don't know how to use them. Where am I gonna sit? I'm gonna sit on the couch but that would be a bit ambitious I think. So I shall sit at my desk. Here we go, boom, boom, boom. Right, uh, I could even try and be clever and balance this on something. Oh my goodness, this actually worked. Hello, good evening. Um, so on my desk, uh, we have uh, what's called, I think a Florida room in our house. Um, and my wife has very kindly turned that into my office. And she's even planned to get like big shutter doors to cover. All right, so what can I tell you about today? Well. I completely fell off the wagon in every single conceivable way today. I did not write a thousand words yesterday. I did not get to sleep until like two o'clock last night, just because I couldn't sleep. Um, and then my wife woke me up because I was snoring, and then she fell asleep and she started snoring, so I ended up sleeping on the couch, and the kids got up. Anyway, went to work. Uh, I looked resplendent in all of the new clothing that my wife bought me, because she's wonderful. And then came back from work, and, okay, in an alternative reality, because I believe in, like, the multiverse. Look, I've even got a multiverse quantum physics t-shirt on. In an alternative reality, I came home, I went to the gym, I had a delicious nutritional dinner, wrote 2,000 words to catch up, and then went to bed. Um, none of that is true. Uh, instead, I came home and... Um, and the kids wanted Chinese food, so we ordered Chinese food. It took two hours to arrive. Uh, my wife went off to Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. I just put the kids to bed. Then the house next door burst into flames. And so I am just sitting here with a nice glass of Angry Orchard Cider, thinking, well, it's kind of an exciting day, really. Um, so, all I can say is that I'm going to try and make good a bit at least and write a couple of thousand words if I can. It's now, I'm looking at the wrong wrist, it's now 10 to 9, 20 minutes. I think I could write a thousand words in 20 minutes and the good thing is uh, I'm at that stage in my book where I'm still kind of a bit woo woo about the plot but I think I know what's going to happen for the next thousand words so I could probably do that and then my day will not be entirely wasted. Also, I did do one of these daily videos, as you can see here. And for what it's worth, I think using this camera is a pretty good idea because this seems to be working out okay. Um, I'm probably boring the pants of you now. So, 
I'm going to have a nice drink and write my thousand words and I will chat to you guys tomorrow and hopefully I will be back on the wagon. I'll tell you what, two days of going to the gym, I do feel fantastic. This morning when I woke up and I was all in the zone, I looked at myself in the mirror with my shirt off and I was like, damn son. Of course now I look like a fat sack of crap because um, I've fallen off the wagon so hard. So Chinese food is good. And so is hard cider. Right. I'm just rabbiting now. So I'm good to go. I will see you tomorrow. And until then, try not to set anything on fire. Bye.